In Infusionsoft, um, I'm going to show you how to add new custom fields for contact records. Um, and then I'm going to actually be using our tracking system as an example. Um, our tracking system is a little intense just because we do have two different companies um, and we use different data for different things. And I'll kind of go over that a little bit for you as well. Um, and I'll kind of discuss what's going to be the most important thing to track. Um, so that way you can kind of filter out and pick and choose which of our tracking uh, filter options that you would like to use on your marketing as well. Um, so when you log into Infusionsoft, you're automatically taken to your dashboard, which is this little guy here. Um, to get to the custom fields where you can um, see them, if you just go into any person's contact record, so I'm just going to go to my contacts um, and actually let's go... Let's find somebody in here. Um, I'm gonna add a dummy contact. So I'm just gonna do test, test, no at no dot no, um, save. Okay, so if I go to this um, contact record, you'll see that there is um, right now tabs that say tracking, um, there's RE contract info. So these two are actually um, custom tabs that we created. And inside these tabs, you have what are called custom fields. So these are the fields that you create that aren't initially in Infusionsoft when you first set it up, okay? So um, in order to add custom fields and custom tabs, you're gonna go into the little green Infusionsoft logo um, in your menu bar. Then you're gonna go over to Admin, and you're gonna go down to Settings. And it's gonna be in this general section, which it goes to by default. And um, you'll see a custom fields section here. So set up custom fields for contact is what we want. But if you use any of these other tools like referral partners, orders, subscriptions, you can add custom fields for those as well. Um, but we go ahead and do them with contact. And main reason we do that as well is because the contact custom fields can actually be a part of your automation process. So in your campaigns, you can have it set certain custom fields to certain things um, based on actions that your customers take and things like that. So when you um, go to here, you can add a tab, which is, and let me um, open a new tab here and I will show you with that test account. So the tabs are actually going to be these guys up top. So we have tracking and RE contract info as our tabs. Um, you can also add a header, which is what shows up after you click on the tab. Um, it's these big bold categories here. So lead tracking details, eye tracker 360, property details, those are the headers. So you can organize your custom fields into different headers, okay? Um, so lead tracking details, we already have original source in here. Um, now, original source is the most important thing you should be tracking, okay? So if you're going to be tracking anything, at least track the source. The source is how um, the contact originally found you. Did they find you um, from a Facebook ad? Did they do a Google search and then find your website? Um, did you send out a flyer which caused them to come to your open house? Did um, somebody refer you to that person? Were they already in your sphere of influence? That's gonna be your original source, okay? Where they initially came from to find you. Um, so then, if you wanna add the next tracking field, um, and we have a thing called SMAVIC, <laughs> um, and you'll see why we call it that here in a minute. And again, um, you don't have to track all of these. We do, it just provides um, some additional cool uh, tracking information for our reporting numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new field. I'm going to go ahead and name it. So we have original source, then we go into original magnet. And under type, you can choose what type of field you want this to be. Do you want this to be a drop down? Do you want this to be something that you type in just as normal text? Do you want it to be a date? Do you want it to be um, a website, a yes or no field? So you can kind of play with these a little bit and see what you want to um, have on here. So for this one, I'm going to do a drop down. Okay. And then here it asks you um, if you want to set the top option that you type in as the default. I do, which is going to be not yet defined. Um, just showing that we have not assigned a field for this um, particular custom field yet. 
Then I'm going to have um, not applicable, which source is never not applicable. Um, there's always going to be a source. So then you can do um, unidentified. Um, for a magnet, so the magnet is going to be um, what what were they interested in? What drew them in? Um, so like a magnet, a magnet draws things in. What drew them in to get them to register on your website? Okay. Um, so for example, this could be um, IDX uh, property photos. Um, this could be a digital download. So if you have um, offers on your website, digital offers on your website, that could be a magnet, digital download. Um, it could be um, home valuation. So things like that could fall under the magnet. What got them interested in registering on your website? What was it? Okay. Um, so then we can go into show advanced options and you want to choose a tab for them to go under. So again, these in gray here are your tabs. This is going to go under the tracking tab and this is going to go into the lead tracking details header. And then I'm just going to hit save. So then you see it on this list here. So then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to add a field. This is going to be the original activity. And I'm going to do again a drop down. Set the top option as default, not yet defined. Okay. Um, so the activity is what you did to bring that contact in in the first place. For example, if they did a Google search and they landed on one of your blog posts, as their very first visit, then blogging is your activity. Had you not been blogging, that person could have never found you in Google. Okay. Um, now, another example would be if you sent out um, flyers, which got that person to hear about an open house that you were doing, and that was the very first moment that they heard of you, then your activity would be direct mail. Um, which your source actually would also be direct mail. So you'll find that sometimes where your source and your um, and some other tools might be <laughs> might be the same. Um, so in this case, you may want to make the um, you may want to specify that further. Um, direct mail open house or direct mail um, card or door knocking or whatever that may be. You may want to specify that and break that down a little further if you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just save those options for now. Oops. Okay. So if you ever do this, I forgot to assign the tab in the field. So it wound up down here in this custom fields tab. So I'm just going to hit edit and then you can go back into those advanced options and assign them where they need to go. Okay. So then I'm going to do this again. So original source, magnet, activity, vehicle. Um, which the vehicle is how they actually came into your system, okay? Um, so again, I'm gonna do drop down, set top option as default, not yet defined. Um, so this could be something like um, IDX form. This could be listings to leads form. Um, this could be home valuation form. Um, this could be um, Infusionsoft. This could be lead pages. Um, so this basically tells you what tool you're using that actually got that lead information into your system. If you're using um, Zopam Chat, that counts because they do have to fill out their first name, last name, and email in order to initiate the chat. Um, so this is how you physically got their information, okay? Um, now, we do have manually entered as our vehicle sometimes, because um, they may call us and then we get their information and then we, we put that in there. So, um, so that's also an option on there. So again, go into advanced options, tracking, lead tracking details, okay. I'm gonna add another one, oops, and I forgot to put original on there. Original vehicle. Okay, so then I'm gonna add another one. Um, we have offer, oops, original offer, and this is what did they register for, okay? 
Um, so again, not yet defined. So what, what exactly is it did they offer? The, did they download or did they sign up for? So um, the original offer could be um, property photos. The offer could be, um, it could be like a custom saved search. It could be, um, and you, you typically wanna get more specific with, with these. So you could say like um, photos for condos or something to that effect. You could also, if, um, if it's a digital download, you could say home buyer guide, home seller guide. Um, so you wanna, you wanna get a little more specific with this. So that way you can say, oh, cool, my home buyer guide that I'm offering on my website has brought in 20 leads this year where my home seller guide has only brought in two. So you can kind of compare that information as well. Again, this is not necessary to track. We just kind of go a little, um, a little extra with this. Um, okay, so same thing. Then we have original channel. Um, it's gonna be rare that you ever have to track the original channel. The reason that we do is because we have multiple websites that our clients could be coming in from. So if you have multiple websites, then this may be beneficial for you as well. So you can say, oh, okay, well, um, I'm using the, the Keller Williams provided Playster, but I also have a brew. Um, so then you can, you can track on here and you can say, okay, well, this lead came from the Playster website and this lead came from the brew. Um, so that would be kind of the purpose of the channel. I'm not gonna put that on this one here, um, but if you wanna track it, if that's applicable to you, then I would recommend making that a field. Um, and then we have original content, and this is very important. Um, I would say, again, if you're gonna track a couple things, source um, and content are very big. So I'm gonna, again, do a drop down, not yet defined. Um, so the content is what is the very first thing or very first page that they landed on when they visited your website? What was it, okay? So um, if you wrote a, and I'm gonna do unidentified on here too. If you wrote a blog post on the seven steps to the home closing process, then that would be the content if that was the very first page they landed on when they visited your website. Um, if you did a blog on like what we did for the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas, and that was the very first thing that they landed on, then you wanna put that in here. Um, so again, it's not the page they were on when they registered, it's the page they very first landed on when they came in from Facebook or Google or whatever, um, whatever that source was, okay? Um, you can find this by tracking um, the client's IP address on Clicky. Um, and we have separate videos with training options on how to do that on um, our YouTube channel. Um, so, it, and in the Ballon method, if you have the Ballon method. Um, and you can also find blogs on lauriballon.com on how to do that. Um, so that's, that's what the original content is. So again, I'm just gonna put that in the tracking for the lead tracking details and save. Okay. Um, and then we also have the IP address field on here that is very important. Um, IDX Broker gives you the contacts IP address, listings to leads in their email notification that they send you when somebody registers. They give you the IP address. Um, Infusionsoft gives you the IP address. You just have to find it in, um, if they filled out a form, then you can go to marketing and you can go to reports and there's a report for um, forms and they give you the IP address on there as well. So you have plenty of ways to get their IP address to be able to track and find this information. But again, source is by far the most important thing to track, at least if you're gonna track anything. Um, then I would say the, um, the original content and the magnet are pretty important as well. What they registered for, or what interested them to get them to register, and where, where that first piece of content was that they landed on. That way you know you need to create more of that content if you see a majority of people are coming in through certain types of content that you're creating. Um, okay, and then once you've added those all in there, you will see them right away. There's no like save button on this screen, um, so they will automatically appear in that, uh, in that contact record. 
Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at team at and we'd be happy to answer any questions for you.